What is up guys, this is the PokePad and today we are back with another episode of Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Almia. So in the previous episode guys, we started our little adventure here. We made some new friends, this guy over here, Keith, and uh, Riz, 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 Rizmi, Rizmi I think. Yeah, and um, then after that we found out that we had to do some creepy basement stuff for, I mean like an, as an initiation I guess. but. Hey, the benefit is that Keith is gonna be with us. Oh, wow, wow! The, 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 there's something there. Oh, look, it's a Beedoof. Beedoof. Oh, it's only a Beedoof. It just startled me. But wow, that sure spooked me. You, you were spooked too, right? And eh, not really. But hi, Beedoof. Um. What am I supposed to do? I, I think, oh yeah, I was supposed to go to the different classrooms, I think. First classroom, what the heck? Crates. Even our own classroom is kind of creepy at night. Hey, I'll give you a hint, even. What was in here during the daytime? That's what it is. I guess I have to get the Bidoof, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make multiple trips for this Bidoof on there. Hey Bidoof, what's up? I, I went to you, so you didn't really attack me. Okay. Come on Bidoof. Let's go. Um, experience points, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the S, I think. I'm not scared, come on. Let's go though. Let's go into here. And be do do this for me. Crush it down. Ooh, I have a oh it's a it's a B doof. I mean it's a Pichu. Pichu. I need to go get that B doof again. Can I get like multiple B doofs? Can I get like multiple B doofs? That'd be amazing. That'd be great if I could. But let's get that B doof again. Ay ay. Yeah yeah yeah. I got an A. Why did I get an A? Wasn't that like perfect or something? How's that? Anyway, whatever. Smash this thing down. And it's a bit do. Can you crash? I don't know. I don't want to risk it though. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do this multiple times, aren't I? I'm going to have to do this multiple times, aren't I? Okay. There we go. la di da -di come, come on, come on. Thank you, S. I got an S. I don't know if that's good, but hey. It works, I guess. Um, Piru. Knowing me, it's going to be the last, absolute last one I, like, get rid of. Oh, look, it's another Beedoof. Oh, that's useful. Hey, Bidoof. What's up? What's up? Okay. Come on. Okay. Duh. Yep. Yay, S. And I level up. I think. Right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Open this up for me. Oh, look at him glitching out. Break it down. Is that gonna be where the styler is? Yes, thank you. I think that's a styler, right? Uh, okay. One down, I guess. You found a styler, that leaves three more. Good to know. Good to know. Um, the next one in this is in this other classroom, I believe. Okay, oh look, there are the Bidoof in here already. Oh look, there it is. Uh, what? This is the classroom next to ours. Hurry up and find that Styler. I, I, I already found it. Um, I mean, there it is. What? Okay, got it. Thank you. That leaves two more. No, I am not scared. Why would anyone be scared? And what was the point of leaving that Zubat there? Hmm. Oh, well, let's go in this way. I think. Do I go in this way? 
Is it over here? Is it just a Pichu? This is the staff room, and the hint for this float room is the style we hid here doesn't stay still. You understand, don't you? I have to catch the Pichu. Hey, 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 Pichu. Pichu. Um, you go in like a circle. I, 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 I stop moving. Stop moving. Dude, stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh my gosh. Arrgh. I need to chase the peach. Okay, got it. Jeez. Why'd you, why'd you have to move? Oh my gosh, no. Don't harm my Styla. My Styla is precious to me. Okay. B charge. Nice. Okay. And we got this item. Yeah, I like how I'm not in my pajamas either. At least one more. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go, people. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, really? Really? Damn it. Library's scary at night, too. It's as if someone's lurking here. Get on with finding that Styler. I want to get going. I bet I will have. I, there's someone in the library. I'll bet. There's someone in the library. Wow, B doof attacked. Yay, whatever. Come on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No damage. There we go. Man, we are getting some mad experience with this. We are getting some awesome experience for this. Um, be doof with that, yes. Crush it down. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you, be doof. Let's go through here, get this be doof too. Sup, be doof. Come on. There we go. Ba di da di da. One, two, tenth. Oh, that was my tenth capture? Was it like, cause I caught the a bee doof ten times already? Or something? I don't know. Is it? I have no idea. Hmm. But at the very least, we can get this final part. Um, la di da di da. Okay. There we go. Got all four. Yes, that means I have a fall. Good, good, that's all of them then. Let's take them down to the basement. Yeah, let's go to the basement, I guess. Um, la di da, this way is the basement. Right, and what? Huh? I never heard about a target like this. I wonder who put it here. Uh, I guess I need a bee doof. Um, let's thankfully wait. Yeah, there's one here. Hey, Bidu. What's up? What's up, buddy? Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay. What's next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Boom. Okay, Bidu's are easy. Bidu's are easy to catch, thank goodness. Um, let's go through here and break that crate down, I guess. Yes, crush. And I think we need to get the Zubat to, to, yeah, yeah, I think we do. Too. Okay, hello, Zubat. I think I very much prefer the, um, old, the old game style of capturing, like, Cause I could see like how many more loops I had to make this for this. I'm not really sure And I got to be for that that sucks, but oh well we can use you to charge me up boom Okay, thank you Biju. And I uh, can you cut these things down? Yes, you can okay Um. What? Okay, there we go Cut it down Boom. I like how he uses like wind to cut it down. It's like some Naruto shit right there. You know, like wind being the element of cutting and stuff. 
Hey, Paladin, have you been hearing thing? Anything L like weird noises? I, I guess. Plunk the plunk down the stylus here, and then we go back to the dorms, and we're done. But hustle, will you? I can't take much more of this. Shh. I do hear something funny. Oh, ghastly. Bah! Oh, and you catch the ghastly, I guess. Hmm. Oh, dang, you disappear. Okay, got one. Hold on. Got that one. Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, got two at once. That's nice. That's cool. I enjoyed that. Psy power. Huh. Interesting. I got a C for that, which sucks. But hey, my, my stylus leveled up, so that's good. Oh, it was just ghastly. Who's there? Oh, look. Like Mr. King K. The basement is off limits to everyone but myself. Ah, shoot! Run for it! <laughs> ah, Mr. Kincaid, you're pissed off. It's something the matter, sir. No, it's nothing. Just a zoo bat causing a minor disturbance in the hallway. Incidentally, was that experiment a success? Or was it a failure? It's impossible to say yet. The control systems are complete, but it's only a matter of adjustments now. <laughs> Isaac. I'm counting on you to succeed. Having said that, it is late. Let's call it a night on our research. Insufficient sleep should be avoided. I'll return to my dorm then. <sighs> Good night, Mr. King K. I feel something sketchy is happening with the two of them. Two Big Brother. Thank you for writing, and congratulations for getting into the Trent Ranger School. I have news for you too. Papa and M Mama and Papa are talking about moving over there from Little Sis. Oh, that's my little sister, I think. I think. Hmm. Hi, Miss April. Okay, I have a question for everyone. What day is it today? Outdoor class! Come on, we wouldn't forget about outdoor class. Miss April! <laughs> Keith told me he thought up three questions to ask the ranger. Well, how enthusiastic. Okay, class, let's go outside. We'll gather in Ascension Square. Okay, then. Can we go? Um, why aren't I moving? Oh, it's just like the three of us, I guess. Yahoo! I've waited so long for outdoor class. And he runs off. That's nice, I guess. Did he really say Yahoo? Keith's too pumped up for this. You remember where Ascension Square is, don't you? You go to the east of the schoolyard, then take the stairway at the south. I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, you go there. I'm gonna save, because it is important to save. What? 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 Okay, that was, that was weird. That was pretty weird. I don't know. I miss the old games. I don't know. I, I maybe it's just me, but I think the older game was pretty bad. Uh, was a lot. I don't know. Easier, I guess. I mean, it felt a lot smoother. I don't know. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking. Oh wait, no. I have to go east. Go east. And ah, there, there they are. Hey, Paladin. What's keeping you? Outdoor class is about to get started. I think the ranger's here already. Yeah, there's a gangly ranger with a giant afro. Gangly ranger with a giant afro. Oh wow. <laughs> okay then. Hi. Well, it appears as if everyone is with us. Let's get this outdoor class started. This is Crawford. He's a graduate of this ranger school. And now he's a ranger, a Pokemon ranger in Viento. Hi, I'm Crawford. Nice to meet you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Here's my partner Pokemon, Bidu. Why would you get a Bidu? 
And these are my friend Pokemon. Wow, so cool. Mr. High Crawford, it's been a long time. But the giant expression of an explosion of an afro. I think I liked your hairstyle the way it was before. It's made me it makes me nervous to see that kind of jumbled up outgrowth of anything. But that's enough of that. We're all here, so let's begin. Let's get the outdoor class's main event, the question and answer session of terror. Let the questioning begin. Questioning of terror, that does not sound good. Crawford, why did you decide to become a ranger? Well, it's because I love Pokemon. I wanted to become friends with them, you know, to bond with them. Besides, it's a cool job. That's the same way I feel. I'm glad I asked you. Good for you. I have a question. What kind of Pokemon are difficult to capture? Well, speaking only for myself. Psychic and ghost type Pokemon, yeah. They have this habit of going poof and disappearing through captures. Ghost Pokemon do that? Me next. My name is Rhythmy. There isn't anything I'd rather do than to become an operator. Do you think I can become one? You can tell I will become one, can't you? I'm, I, I'm only seeing you for the first time ever, so it's not like I know. But, sure thing, no problem, you'll be an operator, alright? That's right. <laughs> Those are the words I wanted to hear. Yes. With me. Are you maybe confusing our ranger with a fortune teller or something? Excuse me, ranger, what about me? Will I become a ranger? Say, aren't you confusing me with a fortune teller too? But I can't tell you I can tell this about you. Your strong will shines through loud and proud. I'm sure you'll make it. Why, you may even have the fixings to be make a better ranger than me. But that's if you can avoid spinning your wheels, so to speak. Uh is that right? I'll do the best I can. Um, okay, here's my second question. No fair, Keith. One question each. Ranger Crawford's busy too, you know. <laughs> so, on to my question. Have you ever made any mistakes? Mistakes, you ask? <laughs> that's all that, that's all that was when I started. Like the time I dumped juice all over my styler. <laughs> that was nasty. Or the time I tried to capture a stuffed doll. Oh, and another time I put on my ranger uniform on top of my pajamas. Hold up, don't make me say these things. Ah ha 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 What makes you glad that you became a ranger? I have to say, the big smiles we get to see after helping people are Pokemon in need. I hope I get to see smiles like that soon. That's the spirit! Keep that spirit burning and you'll be sure to, to succeed. Bleh. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to the chance of working with you folks someday. Keep a positive attitude and work hard. We will. My question's next. Ranger Crawford, has Miss April ever been angry with you? I'll say she has. She used to blow up at me once a day. No, you know that isn't true. It wasn't once a day. It had to be at least three times a day. But that's not the whole story. Crawford was a wonderful student. He kept everyone's spirit up with his kindness and sense of humor. Uh, what? Oh, he has a mission or something. Voicemail, voicemail, Barlow. Crawford, do you hear me? It's me, Barlow. There's a mantine hurt on the, off the eastern shore of School Island. The mantine apparently ran into a, tar a cargo ship there. Luana's headed for the, to the school by boat for you. Join up with her, Crawford, and head to the side immediately. We're going to need your help on this one. Roger, leader. Roger, leader. So cool. Please save that man time. Ha <laughs> ha Hold on, man time. We're coming to save you. That was weird as crap. <laughs> Principal, Principal Lamont. Since the students are so worried, I'll report back on how the mission went. I'm sorry I have to cut the outdoor class short like this. There's no need to apologize. Besides, listen, isn't that your boat? What? Where? Oh. Oh, okay. Crawford, get on quickly. We're heading to the site. Interesting. Alright, students. Keep working at it. Let's meet again sometime somewhere. 
and off the boat goes. See ya. Okay. It's like we got to see it off and feed, huh? The boat's already tiny on the horizon. Well, everyone, it was the shortest outdoor class ever. But it certainly was the most gripping and realistic of all outdoor classes, too. Okay, everyone, let's return to our classrooms. Okay, then, let's go, I guess. I'm gonna do something stupid, aren't I? I'm gonna do something stupid, aren't I? Oh, man, I, I just know it. We're gonna try to save that. You know, I'm getting even more pumped up about becoming a ranger. I still have 37 questions left, but I think I'm going to find those ans answers myself. A real ranger guarantee that I would become an operator. <laughs> There's no guarantee. It's anywhere. You have to grab hold of your dreams and make them come true. You think I don't know that? I'm going to do it. I'll make my dreams come true. I'm not going to lose either. Not when I have a rival like Paladin. Hey, why don't the three of us make a pledge right now by the pledge stone? Let's pledge to each other that we'll make our dreams come true. You bet. I'll pledge that. Paladin, what about you? Uh. Okay, that's the spirit. Let's get back to class. Okay, then. I guess. Big Brother, thank you for writing. Reading about the outdoor class was really exciting. Oh, and we're going to move out there. We're looking for a house now. Aww. That's so sweet. That is so sweet. Everyone, your attention, please. Do you remember that Manta and Crawford went to rescue during our outdoor class? The Ranger Union took it in and nursed it back to health. This morning, the Manta and were safely returned to the sea. Oh. Yay! Wait, where's Keith? Now that we're all feeling good about that news, let's get our lesson started. Today, I scheduled the topic is the teamwork between Rangers and Operators. If there's no trust between a ranger and an operator, it's de disastrous. Even a simple mission could become impossible to manage. Uh, okay. Rangers go, go where there are no roads to guide them. It's the job of the operator to light the way for rangers where no roads succeed, exist. Yeah. Of course, that doesn't let you literally mean holding a flashlight for the rangers in the field. Operators support rangers in other ways like recharging their stylus. Not only that, operators provide rangers with information and advice. The operators reach out to rangers all over the ranger, the union's operation room. Ah, does anyone know what they call that communication system? Yes, it's called voicemail. Correct. However, your school styler is not fitted with the voicemail feature. But look here, I have two stylers with the voicemail feature turned on. We were able to borrow them specially from the Ranger Union. <laughs> Principal Lamont, who was there on business, had to ask for them himself. We we'll use them today to demonstrate the field operations of Rangers. Let's start with Rhythmy as the operator and Keith doing the Ranger part. And Keith is not here. Miss April, Keith isn't here yet. It's rare? For, that's rare for Keith? Did he sleep in, I wonder? Well, fine. We'll get Paladin to do the ranger part. Uh, okay. I guess. Uh, hmm. Class is boring. Wow, I can communicate using this. Hello, can you hear me? This is Rhythmy. Come in, Ranger. Huh? We're too close and you can hear me loud and clear without the styler? Well then, we should get far apart and try again. Uh, where am I going? Hey, no running in the classroom either. Miss A- Ah, uh, Miss April, I'm off for- really Sorry to disrupt your class. There's a small matter about which I would like to speak to with Keith. Oh, well, Keith is running late today. It's not like him, but... Late, you say? Well, we, you see, we have a problem on, on our hands. We had a number of stylers stored in the staff room, had I say. Now, the entire lot of them has disappeared. I've already confirmed the innocence of all my students regarding this, but that Keith boy is uncharacteristically absent from class, you say? Perhaps it's taking him time to find a place to stash all of those stolen stylers. 
Mr. Kincaid, Keith is a prankster, but he's no thief. Oh, don't be still. He runs in the hallways. He sneaks into the basement where he's not permitted. It's only natural that he should be viewed with suspicion. Mr. Kincaid, isn't that this what you always preach? It's wrong to cast suspicion on others without proof. May I have a little time? I will go look for Keith and your missing stylus. Miss April, I'll help too. I'll look, I'll go look upstairs. I'll look too. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, off they go, I guess. We are gonna go find Keith ourselves, aren't we? Paladin, let's scour the schoolhouse from top to bottom. We have to prove Keith's innocence if anything comes up. Voicemail, okay? Yeah, but guys, I think we're gonna have to leave that for the next episode because we are gonna have to end the episode off. Right here, guys. Remember, guys, if you like this episode, please like, comment, subscribe. Check the videos down in the description below. Next episode, we are gonna go find out what Keith, what the heck Keith is doing, and maybe try to prove his innocence. But yeah, remember, guys, this video is brought to you by the Pokey Paladin. I'm out. Bye.